Hey guys, before this video starts, I just want to say go join the Discord if you want to get notified when I start to do live streams or if I'm inviting people to the server. Thank you and enjoy the video. Bye bye. If you saw part one of the video, then you would know. It was just me and Devin in the fight. In this video, we added one player in the beginning. Later in the video, another player would join us. Do you know who it is? Hey, yo, there's like a three man group coming this way. Uh, East 100. They're over by the trees, I think. Yeah, along the, sh along the shore. Headshot the other guy? Same. They're running. Cut him off to the left. Cut him off to the left. Hit him again. Hit him again. Hit him again. Hit him. Good job, dude. Ah, fuck this guy, bro. Top of the mountain. This guy just looted everything. The kid has told me to go away. He's running. I'm gonna go depot some stuff. So yeah, we should be good. The server that we were playing on, well, yeah, I can't exactly tell you what server we were playing on, but the server that we were playing on had a high latency that day, so everyone was just lagging in and out all day, uh, and mid fights were just before. happening all the time, and it would suck. As we were waiting for Devin to go back into the game after getting lagged out because of a queue kind of thing, I decided to go for an airdrop that was nearby. Luckily, no one was nearby. Yo, I thought this was a person, bro. I thought this bush was a person. Wow. It's right there, bro. Now it's time to look, really. But we got some, we got some good stuff, boys. Live that game if I recall right. I was actually going to Lighthouse to go destroy some components to get some more scrap for a tier 3 and also so we could research the AK. Luckily, I hit just the right amount. You said that you were a Lighthouse, dude. Some random guy came over here and started shooting me with a fucking bow. CS scope. Yeah, I'm good. He's got loot on his body, like a lot of wood and stuff, so I suggest we should probably grab it. What? <laughs> we 
Yeah, I'm gonna reset JK real quick, okay? As we were discussing what we're going to do next, we decided to head over to the launch site to see if we can get some good loot. Hopefully no one was there and hopefully we didn't run into trouble though. Cause, uh, that would suck. I just need to grab bandies and stuff. I put the, a lot of bandies up. Oh, okay, all gone. The three day early access, right? Yeah, you do. Oh, okay, you do, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't get the, um, the extra like a thousand one hundred nah I heard they're gonna add it on like sometime May 11th or something like that but yep yep that would suck Not too hard, really. And is, there's an elevator right here, do you remember? Oh, shit! Bye bye. <laughs> I'll come back down. I know exactly what you mean. When, that, when you float up shit, bro, it's so fun. I mean, it's so, it's just a nice feeling. Like, you know, not having to freaking walk. I'll get this one on the side. Yo, we got an airstrike thing. Airdrop? Yeah, airdrop. Dive mess, tarp. Oh, hey, o OP hoodie. I was about to jump all the way down, but then I was like, mmm, that's a far drop. Mmm, I could break my legs. And <laughs> you know, that wouldn't be fun. Place. So I'm gonna keep getting rads from it. Switch forward, the door opens. When playing Rust, there's only so many things you can do when you're limited to team members. But luckily, during streams, I was always able to find more people but find more enemies as well. I knew I needed more members on my team. That's where a bunch of helpers came in, you could say. These people, we're not experts at the game, but they're all I got. I'd like to introduce them. Please welcome these people. With a newly formed clan base called New Hope, was my name idea by the way, New Hope, <laughs> I decided to go hit up launch site to see if I could get anything good. Alright, cool. I managed to get this guy that was hiding here. We got a lot of loot up here today, boys. Okay, supply. Finished up at launch site. I decided to head back to base so we could regroup and figure out a plan. We also need to figure out what we need to do with the airstrike and see if we want to just throw it right away or wait a bit. After getting the airdrop, we realized there was actually a snook crate on top of dome. So I decided to go up there and try to go get it. Bro, this man was trying to camp at the top of the dome, bro. Trying to camp at the top of the dome with a DB. And he missed his shotgun shot. 
It still has 10 minutes. I got you. you. Watch, watch the thing. Watch the thing. Cover me. Yeah, yeah. I got the AK and the five-five. Sadly, sometimes in rust things just don't always go your way. Sadly, got, someone yeah. took the Schnook crate, and we climbed up there for no reason. I don't know how the guy got down. It's still yeah, a mystery to this down. day. After that, we thought our luck had run out, but it did not just yet. We managed to get luckily and found a supply drop that was coming near power launch. Bro, right then, the even though we got kicked out the game, it didn't even matter. We managed to get the LR300, was it actually awesome. I was telling them about it, they were freaking out about it, bro. I can tell ya. Sheesh. If you all remember the last video, and where I was versing the Zerg clan, then you would know what happened. We ended up destroying that clan and everything that they loved. After that, I decided to go check out their base again to see what was going on. Seems like they did upgrade. I knew that we could easily get in there with the explosive materials that we already had. So, when the time was ready, I decided to call up the boys and tell them what we were going to do. First we needed explosives, and the only way to do that was to try to get the helicopter. Sadly we didn't do it on our first time, it was only me and Devin shooting at a time, and we were so close, but then it just despawned. After getting a schnook crate, we got explosive ammo that I researched right away. We were finally ready for the raid. We had everything we needed, all the explosives necessary. Now that was all the time. It was a well put montage. Ooh, shotgun trap, shotgun. Oh, they got ladders. They had decent loot, but this wasn't even the best part about the whole raid. Done it. We hit the jackpot in the whole entire raid. This is probably the best loot that we got that raid. Right after that, one of my teammates got a message from the base owner saying GG and the code to his base so we didn't need to use any more explosive for the necessary doors. But there wasn't any more loot anyway, so it didn't matter. After getting all the loot, we decided to head back to base. And then I got off for the night, starting to edit this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new, please do leave a like. And if you enjoyed the video, I don't know, like the video, I guess. Peace out. Bye.